So in this video we're going to be learning about a really special feature in Directus. So Directus has a built-in dynamic thumbnailer. So what that means is I upload one image, I upload say for example this large image, here it is here, if I click on that you can see this is the size of the image, it's quite big. But what I can do is I can dynamically generate a thumbnail which is a smaller version of this image that's going to use less bandwidth, it's not going to take up any additional space and it will be done instantaneously for us by Directus. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So the first thing we have to do is go into our configuration file. So we go to our configuration file and then we scroll down Keep scrolling down until we find the part of the configuration file that talks about our thumbnails. So you can see here we have an item called thumbnailer and here's where we have all of our settings for dealing with thumbnails. So the first one is the 404 image location. So this is the image that's displayed if a thumbnail doesn't exist. So if I type in slash thumbnail and I hit enter, I didn't put any of the correct parameters in. So you can see we get image not available. This is the image that's displayed when we, when we try to access a thumbnail that doesn't exist. The next part is the supported thumbnail dimensions. So these by default are all commented out because there are none supported by default for security reasons. So what we want to do is we want to enable the size of a thumbnail that we actually need. So what I'm going to do is just enable 300 by 200. And one cool thing is directors will never stretch or distort your thumbnails either, which is also a really nice property of Directus's thumbnailer. The next thing is the supported quality tags. So we can choose per, good, better, and best. And you can see here are the values beside them. So if we wanted to save bandwidth, we could choose poor. Uh, and, we, and if we really just cared about quality and nothing else, we could choose best. And we could also define custom words that map to a custom number. So for example, I could have a number in between 50 and 75, and I could have another word that maps to that. The next thing is the supported actions because when you have your thumbnail with Directus, you can choose whether to crop the thumbnail or to contain it, which just means to shrink it down. So if you contain the thumbnail, you have a couple of extra options. You have an option called resize canvas, position, resize relative, and canvas background. And for crop, you have the option to choose the position. So for the position, all that means, if we were to crop the image, it would crop from the center of the image. So resize canvas means if you get an image that has weird dimensions that don't really fit into the 300 by 200 that we've allocated, what Directus will do is to make sure it doesn't have to resize your image or stretch it, what it'll do is we'll try to fit your image within a, two, a 300 by 200 block. Any bits where there isn't actually an image will have a background color of gray. In this case, you could choose another color if you wanted to. Position just means whereabouts on the image it gets resized from. So in this case, it's going down from the center. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually take a look at this. So we have our image here. And what we want to do is we want to specify the dimensions of the image. So in this case, it's going to be 300 by 200 because that is the only dimensions that we enabled. Next, we have to choose whether we want to crop the image or contain the image. So I'm going to choose crop and I'm going to choose a quality of best. So now if I hit enter, you can see we get our thumbnail and it's shrunk down to 300 by 200 pixels. What I can do now if I change the quality from best to per, we're going to see a dramatic decrease in the quality of the image. So you can see now the compression of the image increased a lot. So the image itself is a lot smaller, but the quality is also a lot worse. So now we're going to change our image to contain. And you can see the image quality we still have set to per, but you can see contain is containing the image. If I was to choose crop, you'll see it'll change. Now you can see it's cut off the corners of the image. So what I'm going to do is change that back to best. Now I have a really high quality thumbnail. And finally, we're going to look at our last image. And if I change it to something, maybe not, maybe not per, maybe I want to change it to, to good. And now you can see the quality dropped a wee bit, but the image size has also shrunk quite a lot. So let's have a really quick look at the Directus thumbnailer. So before we go, we're going to add a new accepted thumbnail dimension. So we're going to allow thumbnails of 100 by 100 pixels. So in a configuration file, we go into that, scroll down, as you can see at the minute we only allow 300 by 200, but what we're going to do is allow 100 by 100. We're going to save that. So now it'll make it a bit more obvious when we crop an image. So you can see here I have a full size image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop it to 100 by 100 pixels. So we go to slash thumbnail, we pass in our dimensions, which is 100 by 100. We pass in the function we want to do, so we want to crop it. And then we want to pass in the quality. So I'm going to say I want it to be the best quality we can give it. And now I'm going to hit enter. And you can see what it did was it cropped our image down to 100 by 100 pixels. It didn't stretch or distort the image. And you can see that because you can see the monkey here is touching the edge of the image. But if we go back to the full size version, you can see there's a lot of green to the side of them. So you can see the crop worked as expected. Hopefully you find it really useful in your projects. I know I certainly will. But that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. But that's it for this video. And I'll see you next time.